What's up everyone, it's Dwarfin87 here to bring you a new video. Now in this specific video we're gonna be looking at the Curse of Osiris. The expansion dropped exactly 7 days ago, today is December 12th. I am not here to give you uh, my opinion on it, I'm here to give you the facts of what was included with the expansion. The community is pretty torn apart right now when it comes to Curse of Osiris. Uh, a lot of people like the expansion, a lot of people don't. A lot of people didn't buy it because they didn't think it was gonna be worth it, so I'm here to give you a quick guide on what's included with the expansion and you can make your own assumption and your decision whether you feel it's going to be worth it for you to get it at the price point that is being offered so once again we're going to look at what's included you make your own decision from there now with curse of osiris we get new missions they are going to be centered around the warlock of osiris now i'm not going to sit here and spoil the story for you uh, all i can tell you is you are in a quest to find them and as you progress through the quest, just like with everything else with Destiny 2, new items, new places, new adventures, new everything will be unlocking. In addition to the new missions, new quests, uh, you also get the new Planet of Mercury. In there you will find new patrols. Uh, you also get a new uh, social place called the Lighthouse. We're also going to get the Mercury Public event, which of course has its heroic version. You get a Lost Sector, so we get one Lost Sector in this area. And we also get a secret chest located in the lighthouse. Now for this specific topic, I will be releasing a video tomorrow that goes over how to trigger the public event, how to get access to the lost sector, and how to unlock the secret chest in the lighthouse. We're also going to get a heroic strike playlist. Now the community is pretty upset because if you do not purchase Curse of Osiris, you will not have access to the heroic strike playlist. Along with this playlist, you also get new milestones that offer power for gear. So again, if you did not purchase the expansion, this is not something that you'll be getting. You're also going to get Heroic Adventures on Mercury once you complete the main storyline. You're also going to get new weapon quests that are called Lost Prophecy Verses. Again, you're going to get this once you complete the story. I'm going to be covering Lost Prophecy Verses on Friday after I do my Sir video. So if you're interested in that, tune in on Friday to find out more. We are also going to get a new Raid layer on the Leviathan Raid called Eater of Worlds. We get uh, new Crucible maps. Our level cap for item level has increased 330 through 335. Our level cap for character level has gone from 20 to 25. And we're also going to get new exotic weapons and armor, which I will be covering on Thursday. Now along with the expansion, we're also going to be getting a patch. This patch, we're going to get the armor ornaments. We are also going to get a new weekly reset time that is going to apply for the weekly and the daily resets. So this is going to apply to Sir, it's going to apply to all your weekly activities. For GMT time is going to be 5 p.m. For CEST time, which is a lot of Europe, is going to be 6 p.m. For EDT time is going to be 12, which is the East Coast in the U.S. Pacific time is going to be 9 a.m., uh, which is for the West Coast in the U.S. One of the other changes that is coming with the patch is that you no longer have to do the raid in order for you to spend your Kalos tokens. We're also starting Season 2, so new clan banners will be issued out, and there's also going to be new clan banner rewards available as well. Now for clan banners, I will try to cover this this week, if not, I will definitely cover it next week. With the story, you're going to get a total of 11 quests. As you go from the beginning of the story, where you go to Mercury, all the way till the end of the story, where basically majority of the items will be unlocked. Those 11 quests not only take place in Mercury, uh, you do visit other areas, but again, I'm not going to spoil it for you in the event that you do buy the expansion. So again, there's 11 quests just on the main storyline. In addition to that, the Endless Branches milestones will open up, which are just more quests, at a higher level difficulty, and there's going to be a total of six of those. In order for you to do the Lost Prophecy Versus, you are going to have to finish this quest as well. Now, I'm gonna be covering some of these items a little bit deeper uh, throughout this week, so stay tuned to my channel if you wanna find out a few more things about them. Uh, once again, tomorrow I will be releasing the video for the hidden treasure chest located in the lighthouse. I'm going to also release a video on how to trigger the heroic public event in Mercury and how to find the lost sector. That is going to be one video altogether for everything in there. Now, in addition to that, uh, the following day, I'm going to be covering armor and weapons as well as milestone activities. 
And then on the last day, which hopefully will be Friday, I will be covering the Lost Prophecy Bursts. So once again, I'm trying to release one of these videos every day for you to be able to continue your progress throughout the week. So that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For this week's giveaway, we're doing a $10 Amazon gift card again, so don't forget to follow the rules in the description and enter to win. I also do live streaming on Twitch on a weekly basis, so make sure you tune in for more giveaway opportunities. All the information is below. Darkon87 signing off. See you in the next video.